Hey YouTube, it's Colton from the Colton to channel, and today I have a video installing the Mountain Lion GM final release onto my late 2009 2.26GHz Intel Core 2 Duo MacBook, and this MacBook currently has 8GB of 1333MHz DDR3 RAM installed, and I'm going to go ahead and install this final release of Mountain Lion onto my OCZ Agility 3 120GB SSD that I just installed a couple days ago into my MacBook and I actually recorded this video before the release of Mountain Lion onto the Mac App Store so just keep in mind that this is the developer GM final release it's basically the same thing it has the same build number and everything so just keep that in mind if you're wondering so on the first page you'll see a screen you just cl click continue the next screen it just shows your boot drive you can select your drive you want Mountain Lion to be installed on and then it goes to a screen that says if your Mac is connected to a power source. I recommend connecting it, but you do not have to. And then after that, you just have to agree. And you can go ahead and start installing Mountain Lion. And I am installing this on an SSD, so it will have faster install times, I'm guessing, than other mechanical hard drives. So that should be pretty good. And I do apologize for the video quality on this video. Right now I do have the Kodak ZI8 and the only bad thing about the ZI8 is that it does not have autofocus. So just please keep that in mind that I do not have autofocus on this camera so I can't really focus in onto my MacBook screen. So just keep that in mind as I mentioned. And I'll be right back when this installation is completed and I'll show you the next steps in to installing Mountain Lion on your computer. So after that process of installing Mountain Lion onto the drive you selected earlier, your Mac will automatically reboot and you'll be greeted with a screen that says installing. Here it will just finish up the installation and I'll be right back when this process is complete. And the first process of installing earlier took about maybe 10 minutes. It's pretty fast on my SSD so just keep that in mind if you have a mechanical hard drive installed on your computer it may take longer. So after that second installation screen you'll be brought to a screen that says install succeeded and if you don't see the screen I'm guessing that you probably did something wrong in the install process so just go back and rewatch the video if you're having any issues. Now your Mac will just restart and you'll be brought to some options which will help you set up your Mac and this is a fresh restore if you didn't know a fresh restore is basically just a clean install of the operating system with nothing being just upgraded it's just a fresh install with all everything pretty much stock as you would get with a brand new Mac so the first screen you will get is welcome you just have to select your country I'm in the United States select your keyboard of course on a MacBook it's gonna be built in next you're gonna just wanna go to your Wi-Fi network and type in your password if you have one the next screen is if you wanna transfer information to this Mac I'm not gonna be doing this since I just wanna do a clean install with everything stock as it would be with a brand new Mac just to keep things fast and enable location services I think I'll just go ahead and do this the next step is you're gonna wanna put in your Apple ID and password so if you don't already have one for some reason you're gonna wanna go ahead and make one the next step you'll see is a terms and conditions page you're just gonna wanna accept these terms and conditions I don't see why you wouldn't really so just agree to these and the next screen you'll see is set up iCloud I recommend doing this but if you don't want to then you for some reason then you don't have to of course so just agree to this and you can read over it if you like and the next screen you'll be brought to is a screen that has use iCloud for find my Mac I recommend just enabling this there's really no reason not to and you're just gonna wanna create your computer account put in your name and it will automatically create a little thing for your finder window so it automatically has your name in there and your computer will be all set up with your name below that you have an option to put a password on your Mac and of course there's some other options below that for your account itself on your Mac the next screen is select your time zone so I'm gonna go ahead and find my region and just go ahead and select my time zone So after you finish selecting your time zone, you're just going to want to click continue. Um, then it has a screen that says register. I don't really want to register my Mac since it's already registered, I believe. And it just says thank you. It's kind of similar to the iOS setup screen. 
So you're just going to want to click in the little button on the bottom, which will bring you to your Mac desktop, and then everything will just start loading up. As you can see, it does have the stock mountain lion background, which looks really nice, in my opinion. And it will, of course, have all the stock apps in the dock. So you're going to have to take maybe some just some time to set up everything on your brand new Mac. Or if this is just a clean install, you can, of course, put some information onto your computer if you want from your old hard drive or time machine backup, whatever you want. So this has just been Colton to Nation 8 with a quick install video on Mountain Lion. And if you want more information on my computer specs, I'll have them down below in the description for you to check out. So anyway guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Also be sure to check out my social links in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. Well anyway guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.